Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode number eight of my single player Tarkov Let's Play series. So last episode we forgot to hand in the scare task. We is in I. So we got friends from the west done now. That's brutal, man. 5,000 USD. I mean, I guess we could probably buy it. I've been, like, just selling and trying to f clear out the inventory a little bit. That's why the, the hence the money. So I went through and, like, spent some money with uh, Peacekeeper. I spent some money with Skier. We actually just got level 2 for Peacekeeper. Yeah. Okay. Alright, fantastic. I need to buy Dosh. Oof. That was an expensive trade. Is that enough? Nope. I need 800 basically. God damn it. I always back out of this screen accidentally. Okay. I can't even get to them yet because it's locked. Until I get to level 15 probably. That's okay though. Progression with uh, quests. So now we have to try and go into factory and we've got a stash this item that we got last time, the secure folder. We have to stash in the break room in factory. Near gate three. Oh, I hate coming into factory, man. It stresses me out doing this. This quest always stresses me out because if you fail it and you die, you have to do it again. And that sucks. Just making sure everything was insured by that keychain. I don't need the stuff in there insured necessarily because we usually get to it fast enough. Where they just ran out on that little cutscene is roughly where we're going. Oh. How the hell am I? Uh-oh. What have I done? Oh. Just so you know, my W key's not working. I die doing this, I'm old F boring. Man, sorry. They're right there up above me, that's fine. I reckon he was very thick. Oh! I tried to do boss notifier. I'm gonna have to change the key binding for boss notifier as well. Any good stuff? Keeping an ear out. 
I can get shot pretty easily standing where I'm standing. Do I not need more of them? I don't know. Okay, let's go. We're gonna go try and stash this thing. Holy fuck! was lucky. Lucky he had a Mosin, to be honest. If he had something more than this, I think we could have been in a bit of trouble. Not a bad helmet. His name was Glue Car. Trying to keep them backed up. I kind of want the potential ammo this guy's got. Screw it. I don't want to keep looting. I just want to get this thing stashed. We still gotta get all the way up this long hallway and stuff, and it's already... I hate this. Let's just go get this item stashed. Here's where it gets risky, right here. This change through here. Here, people. wanted to get in. Give up. Just in. We are coming. Here. Yeah. Oh my god. Let me get it stashed. Where'd he go? Whoop. Can 
not gonna lie, it wasn't the smartest thing I've ever done. Jumping down and breaking my legs. Alrighty. Holy shit. Grab bits and pieces off of them as we leave. Let's just get out of here. There's probably more stuff we could have looted, but to be honest, we've gotten out of here alive. And that's all we could ask for, really. Alright, well. It's just stuck on this screen. Hopefully it's saved. I did hear the music, so I think it saved the raid. I think so. Okay, thank god it did save. Good. That's fine then. And in delivery from the past, boom, BP Depot. Right, the Vertex is really good actually. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna... Oh. Do I have one of those? I do. Okay. Keep that, keep that, keep that. I'm gonna sell that. I'm gonna sell that. Keep them. What is this? That's getting sold, that's getting sold. Good. So this back panel is uh, part of the the pack and strap mod as well. AK-101. Right, so Skier, you need my money the most at the moment. So we're going to sell whatever we can to you regardless of the value. Isn't that nice? He gives me the four markers I need. So we could do BP Depot and at the same time do Operation Aquarius is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that could be the play. Um, yeah, I think that's the way to go. Honestly. I'm just gonna friggin... Oop. Screw it. Let's just go and pay RS. I think that'll be everything that we need. So I would be able to do Golden Zibbo, but I need the room 303 key. Which we want to get, we need the T, T plugs and another tape. And then we could get that. Also wouldn't complain to get this at some point as well for our meds storage. Because meds are filling up a little bit of room. And then food I've got put somewhere in one of these. Because it's just, I've got so much stuff I can't keep. Storing it all. I'm just gonna use all of that. I don't care. 
All right, here we go. Customs. Let's do it. So. Uh, nah, we're going to left looted dorms. I was going to say, it's worth checking Tarcone, but we're going to go straight to dorms. So we can get, uh, there's a few things I want. I want to get an all so we can do the lavatory. We don't have one yet and it's ridiculous that we don't have one yet. And there's the goons are up, which is good. We need dorms 303 key or we need a bunch of T-plugs and an insulating tape. We need a factory key would be really good to find. And we need to go to room 206. So we got a little bit. And if we can find another morphine, that would be absolutely lit. Um also mark these trucks while we're around. I should have marked the one over there, but that's fine. We can all we don't have to do all of them in the same raid. I'm not super fussed with doing that. sounded really loud and it scared me not gonna lie because we can go from dorms and try and loop our way and do at least two of the trucks run so many explosions happening so i did see the new live tarkov update has people pretty not happy about like this if we if you go crouch walk and go as slow as you can to other people it was dead silence so they've changed it now but now it's like you can hear people crouch walk with a headset on like an like a contact fours from a long way away oh jesus christ Are you good, homie? My God. He has pushed all up in my shit. I should have done that before I reloaded. Come on. We could definitely vault out there. There we go. Go, 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 go. Over to two story. Up to second floor. Doors open. People are here. You shank are on you, my friend. Thank you, sir. Let's go down to room 206. Boop, boop, boop. Yay, we did it. Right, now, hopefully... I'm going to go through these. I'm going to pause it because it takes a while to go through all this. And I'll show you what we've picked up at the end. Alright, so... I've gone through two sets of filing cabinets. We're going through the ones with the barbed wire and the other ones that we were just in. So you can see what I've picked up. Along with this as well. So we found the maps for Painter. I don't know whether we need more than one, but... We've got at least one. That's a lot of shooting. We're kind of in the direction I wanted to go, which is like... Old gas area. Um... That was good. I don't mean to want to stand up doing this. God damn it. I've been falling and breaking my legs. Put some Vaseline on my lips. Mmm. 
That'll stop the blurries. Right, so... Two of them are that way. Wait. Oh, there it is. It's like clipped in. I was like, what? I I know where they are off my off the top of my head anyway, but I was like, seeing it was like a game panel bug more than anything else. What I was questioning. The old gas one scares me the most. The other one's not too bad where it is. This one scares me though. I'm gonna have to laser off for a minute. We'll push up here. I'm gonna just try and. Through the old bushes. Use the barrels as cover. Jump it. Got him. Dead scav boy. Dead scav boy. Be careful as I move up here. Also wanted to make sure that completed just in case I died. I don't see a scav up there. Be careful as we dip through all this. One's back there too. Oh shit. Gotcha! Pinged you right in the head. Alright, screw it. Let's just get out of here. We got the top graphic maps. And stuff. I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. We can always loop through one of these buildings here and check. And see in the technical crates and the PCs if there's some good stuff. Before we leave... Man, that sucks for him. If I didn't even look in here, I would have had no idea. And now I know people go, oh, single player Tarkov and that it looks easier than live. Well, you know, there's been, episodes, there's been times where I get screwed and die 10 times. Now, some of it is poor gameplay and some of it is just Tarkov, man. 
You can still, you get Tarkov in this. It doesn't go away. A little bit worried to my right. Getting shot from where I just killed this guy from. I'm grabbing that just to eat. Screw it, that'll do me. Weighing me down. I was still gonna go into this building. Oh wow, that actually glows on the ground. That's kind of cool. I did want to have a look at something. Alright. Another battery. I need four of those for car repair, but isn't that what the tank bat beca will become for me? I am right near Extract. It's the only reason I was thinking of grabbing it. Because I'm right next to Extract, otherwise I wouldn't want to carry it. I'm going to make them smaller still. I made them smaller just then, but I'm going to make them even smaller than that. Okay, I think that's better. They're a lot smaller now. These have been opened. These have not, though. Yes, they have. Oh. I'm going to grab you. Because I'm going to drink you. During extract. Right, let's try and get out of here alive if we can. Okay. Good so far. Get down and get out. Isn't there normally an ammo box there or something? So I guess it's not an every time spawn, which makes sense, like all the containers, so. Beautiful. Still no all, but we did do a couple things that raid. We got poor level one USEC boy tapped one time in the back of the head. All right, let's quickly sell. What well, we can. Right, you, bang, done. Eliminate scavs on customs. If only I'd already had it. We killed, you know, six scavs or something then. Oh god, peacekeepers quests. Oh god. Hey Ragman. Hell yeah. So now we're able to buy an M4762. Well, we can buy the mutant now. Dig deep. Eliminate 10 scaffolds on customs. Fuck yeah. Oh, thank you for the water. Eventually I'll need that for Jaeger's bullshit. I'm going to have to buy another um, scav junk box as well. That's going to have to be a definite. I don't think I'm going to have a choice in the matter. Spend a little bit. Get some dollars, dollary dues. Okay.
just load you up with a bit of everything. Ah, oh, beautiful. Also upgraded vents, that's where I spent the car battery that was in our storage on. So now we've got vents upgraded, so we don't need to worry about doing that. So to craft T-plugs, we can make T-plugs out of power cord and nails. Um, we can't make many though. Look, we're only going to be able to make like three of them. We're still going to be short. I still think that it's best just to find them, honestly. And we can install this too. I forgot that we actually set that up. So we just need the all for that. We need some saline and some med tools for that. That's not too bad. Let's have a look at painter's stuff quickly. Oh, wow. Dude, that's a sick looking mutant, bro. Like I'm, I would, there's quite a few of these guns I, I'm, we're going to try. What are we currently, what are we currently using? 545 by 39. I don't think he even has, yeah, he has no guns here that shoot 545 by 39, although we could get something. I did just buy, I probably regret doing it, but I brought an org. Because I think it'll be a bit of fun to mess with the org. Ooh. We could put some real ridiculous rounds in it if we wanted to. Put some real strong rounds in that shit. I think this is for this, is it not? All right, we've got the org. We'll see how the org goes for now. We're gonna just kill scavs and we're gonna try and mark these fuel trucks. Um, all of them are gonna kind of be on this other side. We do have an issue. We what have- What the fuck am I doing here? We have the goons up at the scav base. Do we have a scav up there? Sniper scav up top? I don't see him up there. Not that he would necessarily be easy to spot. Yes, he is up there. Fuck, he moved away. I don't want to be in visual sight of someone else except for him. If I can be. Problem is, he's probably going to look wherever the shooting's at. Got him. That's one. Can him one. careful coming through here. Not a big fan of that little elbow through the crate. Have you ever seen my mouse do this? Just I randomly bounce my legs sometimes. I don't know why I do it. It's just a thing I do. I wonder if we can get a view at the goons from here. 
This is not what I wanted to do. I've got to be careful that they don't see me. Like that. Nah, I can't peek it again. They'll just kill me. Oh, you fucker. Shit. I'm so fucked. Oh my god. I'm leaning in as far as I can. Try and see if we can get out at least one of their legs healed. Come on. Someone else is fighting him. We've got a chance. He's leaning in. He's out there talking. Alright, I was able to get my leg hit or my arm healed. My arm's not blacked anymore, but... We still don't know where the last man is. Hear him walking out there somewhere. Come to me. That was not who I was expecting. I was expecting the last of the goons. Fuck, that's pot. Back it up. Got to be fucking... A goon that's left, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's pot.
Right, that was a USEC. And he almost killed us by shooting us in the head. Problem is, that still doesn't answer if there's another goon boy left or not. There's only two there. Ah, oh, Pipe and Knight are here. So bird eyes left. Ooh, thank you. Hello, pipe. It only makes sense I take that from you, doesn't it? Okay, give me some Dorm 303 keys where I am. That could be Bird Eye over there. I don't know. I didn't want it to unload into him. Okay, no, nah, fuck that. Right, let's try. I mean, our UAF roadblocks up, so that's where we're going for sure, because the fact we're alive is just remarkable. Honestly, insanity. Hell. I'm still worried bird eyes somewhere. It is possible. That sniper's dead up there. If you have a look, you can see his body up there. This bird eye could be waiting further up, although you'd think if he was alive he would have come over with them. Like he would have come over to help them or avenge them. I guess would be the term. Oh, I should mark this while I'm here, shouldn't I? Then I don't have to come to here. Please no bird eye. I'd be happy to get out of here alive after fighting two of the goons and two PMCs. I'm pretty happy with the results of being alive. The fact that the, the only reason I'm alive probably is because I had M856A1 in two, my first two mags. And they're the ones that I used on those two boys. That's the only thing that probably really saved me. If I had had M855, I probably would have died. I have M855 in this mag, in the next mag, but the first two mags were that, so the fact that that was what we used on the goons was really lucky. I'd like to say it was good planning, but I wasn't originally planning on fighting them. I was planning on seeing if I could see where they were. I wasn't thinking they were going to just shoot at me and push me, but I guess I should have expected that. We're going to get out of here. With 
a little bit of quest progression, but a shitload of gear. So much good shit. Like, we could have taken more, but I didn't want to spend any more time on it. And we got the pipe, which is most important. Can't be pipe without the pipe, and now we have the pipe. DCP and MK255. Okay, so I don't think they have anything insanely strong in the guns at the moment. I didn't check what was in any of their mags. I'm not necessarily worried about keeping all their guns. I'm more worried about the money that they're worth as well. Yo, we got a T-shaped plug. Like, if we look at this, what do we got? M82, BCP, FMJ, M62, though. Pretty ridiculous. And then we just got this bad boy, the MSGL. Just for the memes, right? Look at this RFB. And then just a ridiculous amount of mags. I said this is more to sell than anything else. Oh, don't sell the freaking org mags. Um, don't want to keep the Mew Mew. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep the Mew Mew. Oh, we did actually get a quest done. We can do therapist one. Hell yes. Now we can move on to pharmacists. Which is another customs quest. Yay. And we can also now do golden swag because we have dorm 303 key. It sucks that I can't wear this with my helmet. But I look way more pipey than I did now. There's no way I'm going to run around with just a freaking... With just that thing on my head. There's not a chance. Right, ammo away. And now we make big sale. I really what do we need? We spent a mill, so we're ahead. What do we get? Okay. We're going to get less money, but that's okay. I said we need the money spent with him anyway. Only fence, really? Okay. That's fine. Well, we got three. We got another one of those marked. We can do Golden Swag next episode. We can do Fishing Gear. We can do more of Tarkov Shooter. And we can work more towards Dig Deep for Painter. Hmm. Those syringes and meds also will be very handy. So with that said, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more single player talk of in the future be sure to hit that subscribe button don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below thank you all so much for watching and i hope you'll have a lovely day all right peace